Hi, my name is Avian Tech, and ooh, boy howdy, I've been so excited to make this video. I'm sure you've already seen other folks talk about this in other videos, but just in case you didn't know, this is the Gecko Blaster designed by Adrian. It's apparently based off of a weapon called um, the, the Lizzie from Cyberpunk 2077, but I've never played it, I'm just real jazzed about this blaster. Now, let's go over it. This is a 3D printed mag in grip, uh, half dart pistol type blaster. It fires these little guys. Adrian released this design around late February of 2021, so around a year ago at the time of filming this. It came around at a time where pistol type springers were really starting to gain ground in the community. Uh, notably the Dart Zone Mark II in December of 2020, and the, uh, the Zinc by 118 Designs in early February of 2021. Now, if memory serves me properly, this blaster was a pretty big hit with the community thanks to several factors, uh, including the fact that it's, you know, mag-fed, which isn't very common for pistol-type blasters. It's tied to the video game which the design is based off of, and this thing is pretty dang powerful, which I will, uh, show you more about that later. It's very visually appealing. It's got a real uh, modern yet futury look and feel to it. Just a heads up, I didn't print these parts myself. I bought these from Rainbow Mods and Props and he did an excellent job with the print quality. I, um, I highly recommend his shop if you get a chance to check it out. Now, first things first, this blaster is a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but it makes sense due to the size of the magazine. I mean, you know, like, look at that, my, my hand barely barely fits around it uh here's how it looks compared to to a dart zone mark ii see that it's 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 mm, yeah it's a lot smaller and you know my, my hand has a much easier time getting around it and here's how it looks compared to a a sweet revenge you know it's it's mm, uh, yeah I don't know, but it is a lot, it's a lot easier to hold, that's for sure. Right up, right up here, this is where you prime it. Just pull it back to load a dart into the chamber and pull the trigger to fire. Behind it, right here, this is the slide lock. This prevents a slide from moving back by a force exerted by something other than the priming grip. It's a very cool and simple way to keep the slide in place, but I had to do a lot of trimming and sanding on this piece to get it working the way I wanted it to. So, up here, here's the barrel, right? And right below that, uh, right here, is the catch, which fascinates me. So, look, when I prime it, right here, that is the plunger. So, the plunger's down here, and the barrel is up here. So, I've got an 8 kilogram spring all up in here, and Adrian was able to make this blaster so compact by using a sort of a turnaround mechanism. I don't know if you can see it right here. Um, I think I think the same kind of tech was used in the links. So the plunger and the spring are, you know, right here, and then, uh, and when fired, air travels through the plunger tube, and then through this, this little part right here, I don't know if you, it's like magenta. Uh, it directs the air up and around through the barrel up on top. It's, it's so freaking cool. I can't believe we, we have this kind of blaster tech nowadays. Oh, and also back here I've got an ambidextrous mag release. Uh, this didn't come default, it was designed by Warrior Wasp, I believe, but check it out. I just nudge this with my thumb and um, falls right out. Makes reloading pretty easy. Oh, and this blaster is compatible with angle talons in case you got a bunch of those lying around. So, let's see it in action. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. 105 minimum, 132 maximum, so an average of 117. Cool.
here are the pros. Building this was a real treat. It took me a little over a day, but to be fair, most of the time was spent waiting for parts that I glued together to cure. Uh, even though I find it a little big, I still think it's pretty comfortable. It's, it's a pretty comfortable blaster despite my stupid and dumb little hands. I'm certain someone with regular sized hands should have an easier time. I really love what Rainbow has to offer in terms of the gecko. When I ordered the blaster through his shop, I also add on this, um, this scar barrel right here. It's strung with fishing line and it uh, imparts a bit of spin on the dart and helps with accuracy. Um, inside, I, I, I doubt you can see it, but there's a, um, there's a plunger made of Delrin that he offers. It's made to be stronger and more durable than a standard 3D printed plunger. Lastly, and this is what I'm really jazzed about, is that he offers this, uh, alternate magazine. So the standard Gecko mag is, uh, it's made with a, with a drum spring, but the one that Rainbow made for me is made with a talon spring. I... Think. But no, but most notably, this this follower piece right here, uh, you might have seen me do it already, but you know, when you fire the last dart and prime the blaster, it locks the slide back so you don't accidentally, you know, dry fire your blaster. And uh, honestly, honestly I wish I wish I had more of these mags. Now let's talk about the cons. Obviously, the biggest one is a silhouette. This straight up looks like a firearm. Uh, even though I have an orange tip and an orange trigger on mine, I'm definitely afraid to take this to public areas, mainly because I'm a minority in America and I'm super afraid of being accused of waving a firearm in public, and I would rather play it safe and only use this thing indoors or on private fields. I also probably could have ordered this thing in brighter colors, but that's, that's on me. That's my fault. Uh, one thing that really bums me out about the gecko, though, is uh, that I had to I had to glue the barrel into the turnaround, which means that I can't swap barrels or anything. Uh, the slide lock piece was also kind of a pain. It it kept locking randomly during primes when I first put it all together, uh, and it was like it would catch up here on the side. Uh, but a little sanding goes a long way. Not sure if anyone else uh, had that problem, but there's also a good chance that it was just my fault. At the end of the day, though, I love this blaster. It's easy to use and something that I would definitely use as a primary. So who is this blaster for? You, maybe, if you're still watching. If I had to guess, uh, I'd say it's for performance-minded nerfers, or fans of homebrew and community-made blasters, or even uh, even just cyberpunk fans, but what do I know? I'm, I'm not an expert. It's for anyone who wants it, really. It's so, 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 so goddamn cool, though. Anyway, that's it for me. See you next time or something. Bye.